These people have lost everything. They've endured numerous wars and devastating floodings. What they need is hope and compassion. Don't lecture me about what they need. You want to be friends with everyone. Sit around in the tavern and be merry. Sing songs which do not edify and neglect your priestly duties. The priest of the world <laughs> who eats and drinks with the sinners, who speaks their language and behaves like them. But I will not allow it. I will not let you turn my church into a tavern, not my church. It's not my intention to turn the church into Quiet. a... Quiet. I know more than you think. Don't you ever let a woman sing in the choir again. And from now on, the choir sings in Latin. No more German, you hear me? Why is it so wrong to praise God with plain words that everyone can understand? You can sing and speak in German all night long in the tavern, if you so please. But in my church, you will show proper respect in Latin. Why can the choir not sing in Latin, Joseph? Because no one this town speaks or understands Latin. We speak in German and we sing in German. But people are used to Latin. It's familiar to them and I don't believe Father Nössler will allow you to have your way. If we sing in Latin, I lose half of my choir and Maria and Anton won't come to church anymore. Whatever message of hope or love we have will not be heard, not by anyone, not in their hearts. But he's your superior and mine. God is my superior. Isn't the church supposed to be the bridge between God and his children? As long as people are afraid to walk on that bridge, they will never feel God's love. Joseph, you are the church. Wherever you serve, you will be that bridge. If you want to keep hope alive, you must never lose hope yourself. We must organize a special Christmas Mass in the North. Something remarkable, with our choir singing in German, glorifying the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. People will remember this Christmas for years to come. <laughs>